Hi, I'm Bob, and I'm back with another Star Wars Clone Wars figure review, if you want to call it a figure review today. I'll be counting down to the Bad Batch premiere on Disney+. Plus. We have a few weeks out, and I figured it would be a great time to take a look at some of the old Clone Wars figures and vehicles from the 3.75 line that Hasbro produced. Like I said, I don't know whether to call this a figure review or a vehicle review because this big boy, this big boy is technically both. He is the Octoptara Magna Tridroid. I believe that's his classification. And is he ever big? I wonder if I should scoot back just a hair, just a hair. There we go. Have a little more room to work with here. Now, see, he is quite ginormous and he was released in 2009 2009 this guy is quite um he's one of my favorites and he was a walmart exclusive now let me turn him around here you can see what have you got in your claw there, mister? What have I told you? When you grab an ARF trooper, you don't just grab one. You need to grab three. Make General Grievous a very happy general. Okay? Let me just set this aside here. One ARF trooper. We're going to have a talk right now, mister. Anywho, <clears throat> we saw this guy at the Battle of Christophsis at the beginning of the Clone Wars. We saw him in the Bad Batch arc, and we also saw him in the final arc of the show, which was, I'm pretty pretty sure, my favorite arc of the entire series. That was masterfully done, or as Thrawn would say, so artistically done. I'm liking that audio description on Disney Plus also. It's just a fantastic run. So, yeah, the, uh, the Tri-Droid, he's... Also a vehicle. I'm going to try to open his cockpit. Hasbro designed him so you could place a figure in there. And I don't know if you'll be able to see the inside of this cockpit here. I'm going to try to maybe bring it a little closer so you can see. See that cockpit there? Okay, just is that close enough or maybe a little more? Tilt it down just a hair. Uh, it's probably too dark, but yeah, you can you can stick a figure in there. I think. All right. So Tri-Droid gets a 10 out of 10 for me. It's one of my favorite designs from the Separatists. And it's just a joy to be able to take a look at these uh, in terms of tactile design. Uh, it's, I never take the things that I receive from friends and family for granted. And Hasbro always does a magnificent job when producing these things. So 10 out of 10. I hope to see some of these things repackaged in the vintage collection line at some point. I know there are some folks that have grown up with the Clone Wars and might not have gotten some of these. So it would be cool to see them re-released. I'm only going to keep the one that I have. And I just like to make sure that Everybody gets a chance to grab some stuff. I mean, I think Hasbro is sitting on quite a ginormous chunk of, of change. If they were to release some of the some of the old Clone Wars and uh, prequel vehicles, and maybe some of the original trilogy vehicles, uh, they they really sell well. Especially to people like me that are just junkies for all the ships. The droids that are, you know, ships and vehicles themselves. So yeah, 10 out of 10 for me. And I will see you next time. We'll take a look at another Clone Wars figure or vehicle. May the Force be with you and hear you later.